Hi everyone, welcome back to Diet Rocks. Um, I'm going to show you how I make my tuna pasta salad. I did um, a cheesy pasta tuna pasta bake uh, about a week ago and I have two pasta dishes that I make. This one you can have warm as it comes straight out of the, the pan or you can have it cold. So what I'm going to do is I've got some um, vegan mayonnaise. I don't think it's open actually. I just need to take the top off, the brand new one. So take that off. And you can put in as much as you want to make. So I'm going to make enough for um, say two to four, depending off you have it, um, ten, depending whether you have it as a lunch or a main meal. So I'm just going to do um, a couple of tablespoons and it's not precise, I know, of mayonnaise. And I'll adjust that at the end anyway. If it doesn't look kind of creamy enough, I'll put in some more. I normally have jars, it's so much easier. And then I'm gonna put some sweet corn in, just a big helping. And I've got two tins of tuna. I'm just gonna pop that in. And I'm gonna get another spoon because that one's Got mayonnaise on it. Just scrape all that in. So that's two small tins of tuna. And mine is in brine. Um, I don't use the one that um, has oil in it. So I've got a feeling I'm going to need more mayonnaise for this because as you can see, it's not creaming up very much. And it will loosen up when I put um, when I put the pasta in because the pasta is warm but as long as you sin whatever mayonnaise you use you don't obviously have to use vegan I'm just allergic to dairy but if you find a good low-fat mayonnaise you will have way less sins than I will it doesn't really want to come out of this very well unfortunately so I'm just going to put that in not waste any and give that a stir up. Now it doesn't need to be mega mega creamy because as I say it loosens up when you put in your pasta. So I've cooked some pasta and it's sitting there waiting to go in. Now at this stage you can add anything you want. Um, my uh, One of my friends who, li who likes this likes it when I put onion in but I don't like onion myself so I don't. So I'm just going to shake in some pasta I look, shook in a little bit more than I bargained for there, but I'm going to put all of it in, might as well. And then you just stir it round. And as I say, it loosens up because of the heat of the pasta in any case. But I can straight away see that I need a bit more mayonnaise. It's not a very good way of dealing it out in this. Um, in this. I'd say that's another... Um, another spoonful and that's getting a bit more like it you can hear the squelch and I always know when it's done because it's squelchy and it's all covered in mayonnaise and in corn I'm going to put a bit more corn in you can put as much or as little as you want you can put peas if you don't like corn you can omit them you don't have to put anything I have put peppers in it and as I say onion just kind of play with it but that's the basis of it and that's done. So that is really nice now that um, pasta's quite warm because it's it's not long been out of the out of the pan. Hang on a moment. Mm, that's gorgeous. Perfect for a barbecue or a picnic or any kind of uh, salad when you're having a salad, you know, spread. Now, if you let that go cold, it's got a completely different taste. You can have, add more or less mayonnaise. Um, as I say, you can add onions, peppers, peas, anything you want to it. Just um, that's it. Simple as that. Very simple, but very nice. Thanks for watching. All of the um, ingredients and method is going to be down below in the description box. So... 
and I'll try it and sin it for you as well. So it can be very low sin if you're using low fat mayonnaise, but I've never found a vegan one that's low fat. You're lucky to find a vegan one. Um, I just am avoiding all dairy, so. But if you're lucky enough to be fine with it, then um, you can get it even fewer sins than mine. So thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.